The idea of today was Oktoberfest, the restaurant festival, has given us a chance to basically get the top 20 restaurants from the top 20 Brighton's Best Awards into a room alongside some other businesses that were here today. I think people in any business uh, get too caught up in trying to do things themselves, trying to cut a few corners, save a bit of money, and actually that's where you fall down. You've got to put your hand up and go, I, I don't really know whether I'm doing the right thing here or what legally I should be doing, and ask an expert, phone a friend. You know, that's, uh, that's really what today was about, was starting that process with some people. We've always been big believers of surrounding yourself with people that can help you. You know, especially when you're heavy in operation in the restaurant industry, you will be coming into work in the morning, you're not going home till way past everyone else has finished work. To then get bookkeeping, payroll, all of those things involved, you, you just will run yourself ragged. You need to make sure you're getting the right advice because you can really get caught out with something that you don't even need to be doing anything wrong, you can get caught out. Um, so we're huge believers in surrounding yourself with people that can help you and, and why not? I think that's why something like this event that you're holding today is great. We're, it's putting people in touch with people that know what they're doing talking to other people in the industry that's been around for a while that can have a few words of wisdom. If we had that nine years ago, it would have been fabulous. It would have really helped and we probably would have made less mistakes. There are no stupid questions. Um, I think you know, we're happy to speak to anyone on the phone and give them 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of our time just to walk around the issues. Yes, we want to give people some good advice around EIS and CDIs, but actually we're a full service practice, so we want to look after the entirety of the business. Um, and actually we're very happy to invest a bit of time in guiding them through that process because we want to look after all of the things that those businesses do in their lifetime. Uh, particularly when it comes to investment raising or, or, or actually making the best use uh, of, of, of tax relief. So whether that's buying a building, and all the tax reliefs you can get for investing in your building, sometimes those things are overlooked. Or as we said earlier on, the Enterprise Investment Scheme and the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme for all the money that's being invested into the business. So now, very often, special advice is needed in those areas to make sure you get those reliefs. Chatting with the, uh, um, you know, the, the other people that are in the industry here, it's been quite useful in terms of, because we are a new business, they're advising me. The huge relief to sort of hear that people, you know, were struggling equally with staff, you know, because I was thinking, wow, you know, Brighton's a big city, why are we struggling to find staff and why don't people want to work anymore? What's happened to England in the 15 years that I've been away? You know, in London, I think they have their own, their own unique challenges and opportunities, um, but Brighton is going to be very similar to many other, you know, many other sort of regional towns in the UK. Um, I think Brighton, you know, as we said earlier, I think it has, it's got a lot going for it because it's, you know, it's a pro popular destination. So there you are know, various other places that people might want to go to. Um, you know, they're not going to have that same footfall of tourism that Brighton has. So you know, arguably it's in a, in a strong place to weather whatever storms we've got coming forward with Brexit and other things. So I think you know, as long as the, the, the businesses down here, particularly the independent businesses, support each other, promote each other, then that's going to be a lot better for, for all of them. Impressive brands are beginning to come out of London and it's always Bristol and it's always Brighton where they look to first. Um, and when they start coming down here as a tourist, that may be because you recognise the brand where you're going to go. So I think that trying to boost the confidence and boost the profile of Brighton's independent restaurants has is, is never been more important.